Hey everyone, Ranger14 here. In this video, we're gonna focus on the first three minutes of the bot lane. If you wanna stick around at the end of the video, I have some super awesome, amazing, spectacular things to show you and you can listen to me talk some more. Anyways, if you click this video, I'm assuming you wanna talk about the bot lane, so let's just jump into it. Uh, tip number one, don't have to be in game. That's how great this tip is. Go to the bathroom. We're all adults, we've all, you know, gone to the bathroom multiple times in our life. I don't know, some maybe more than others, but the fact of the matter is, before you queue, before that game launches, go to the bathroom. So there's no problems. You don't hit that little window of you're still in the bathroom, game launches, and then your team gets invaded or someone dies or they get ward control because you're peeing. Just stay there, get in the game, launch, run to your lane, and scout ahead so they can invade you and you lose at the very beginning. And it's just an uphill battle for 40 minutes. Pee two minutes before the game or struggle for 40 minutes. Hmm. The most important part about the early game is getting that sight advantage. So right here, Orina has the middle, the bush, and right here. Now they have a blitz crank, so we're not gonna stand in the bush right there because if he runs through or hooks over the dragon pit, we're kind of screwed. So I'm going to the bottom and I'm gonna come poke up here, kind of check around. The most important thing is vision. Don't stand in this bush, vision. If you don't have a skill shot that gives you vision, still throwing a skill shot's good. It lets you know where something is. So I throw a skill shot over here with Ziggs and I wait for the sound. Bink. Awesome, cool, I know someone's there. I don't know who, but I know that they're there and they know that I know that they're there. Tip number two, always be moving. Always stay on the balls of your feet, they would say in soccer. This is the same thing. As long as you're constantly moving, it makes skill shots hard to land and you won't be taken off guard as much. It gets you ready, keeps your fingers warm. Don't take your hands off the keyboard or the mouse. Just constantly stay moving so you can properly react to anything that's happening. Stay alert. Now you ask Ranger, they pushed us back. How do we know if they're doing red buff? Right here, I throw a ward over golems. Now I know if they're gonna steal our red buff because they did push us off. Now I'm a little bit late to lane, however my ADC is super awesome. Tip number three, keep your team in the XP loop. Right here, he is pushing the lane without actually killing anything. So when I get here, he starts popping them off right and left and we get the same experience. So we'll hit level two first. Amazing play, keep him in the loop. Tip number four, be aggressive. I'm pretty sure I've already said this, but it's really important that you be aggressive. I see that misfortune is too far extended, so I hit him with a snare. This is gonna help us get a free bit of poke before even level two. Super secret ninja tip, just because he can hook, doesn't mean you should hook. He puts his ADC in a lot of danger because he wanted that hook. Just because you can hook, doesn't mean you should. Tip number five, back together. Now, my ADC wants to go shop. He's like, hey, BF sword, so we're cool. So we're pushing this lane. Now, we're gonna go back together so we both come back with full mana, full life, and some wards. Now, this is a very bad play by Blitz. Blitz is gonna harass and maybe stop us from going back, but that's not a problem. There's so much experience he's missing. Now he's too far committed because his ADC's back. I dodge the hook, land the stun, and we get a kill. There is no reason to stop people from doing this. Let them go back, push the lane out, get control. Tip number six, stand behind minions. This seems really simple. Don't stand in the bushes, don't be weird, be in an aggressive spot, but behind minions. This way Blitz cannot hook me, but I can constantly poke him with W or auto attacks if I need to. Don't just stand in the bush, guys, be aggressive. Do not just throw your skill shots out because they're easy and fly and hit people. Think one step ahead of your opponent. I know Nidalee is trying to see us, and it's not that easy with Nidalee, especially as a support. So I'm gonna wait for him to move up and try to hit this minion, and I'm gonna throw my Q out. This is gonna make it so we can hit a skill shot and get another kill. Time your skill shots, think about where they're going to be, not where they are exactly when you throw it. When you play a champion with skill shots, you have to hit them. This is easier said than done, but we can do some things to lower the chance that we'll miss. So here, I know Nelly is gonna try to dodge me, so I throw the ward in there, and then I wait for him to be in a position where he can no longer dodge my dark binding, and we're able to get the snare and get the kill on him. This is just by me holding my dark binding. If I threw it off at the beginning, it was gonna be luck, but here, I wait till he has no possible escape, and then I send it. Thank you so much for watching. That's gonna wrap up this video. The next video, we're gonna go into matchups and what's good against what, because I don't believe in counters. You don't just lose a lane because someone picked a champion. You just have to change and mold to what they're doing so that you don't just right out lose. So thank you again for watching. I just moved to Georgia. I was planning on streaming all the time, but the internet out here sucks and I cannot stream. So I'm just gonna make a bunch of videos instead. There's an app called We Wanna Play right here if you guys wanna click it. It is amazing. It's gonna let you guys know when I make a video or when I do something special, when I stream with someone else, if I'm a guest star, I do a lot of videos with Angry Honey Badger, and we're gonna do some stuff like that. So I really appreciate you guys go check it out, click on it, download it, follow me for sure, that way you can always see my happy face whenever you guys want to. So again, thank you so much for watching. My name is Ranger14, and I will see you guys in the next video.